Hello and welcome to today's quick webinar, How to Create a Paperly Twitter Newspaper. My name is Avalyn Austin. I will be your moderate, moderator for today's presentation. To get started, you can follow us at, on Twitter at SearchMojo or our, present, our presenter, Renee Rivetta, at Renee Rivetta. And my Twitter handle is at Avalyn Austin. For today's presentation, you can follow the hashtag PaperLeaveMojo. Because we have a quick webinar today, I just want to introduce SearchMojo very quickly. We are a search engine marketing firm founded in 2005. We specialize in search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, and social media special, or social media monitoring. Located in the hometown of Charlottesville, Virginia, home of UVA, and also where the Dave Matthews Band got its start. We've been featured in many publications, and we also travel around and speak at search conferences, including SMX Advance, PubCon, and Search Engine Strategies. To go ahead and introduce today's speaker, Renee Rivetta is Search Mojo's Senior Social Media Specialist. So she works with our search engine optimization teams to help them help their clients create social media profiles to increase that will help them increase their search marketing uh, search engine ranking. So without further ado, I will go ahead and hand it over to Renee Rivetta. Hey everybody. So to get started, um, just to introduce what paperly dailies are. The web service of Paperly compiles information from tweets and sends out basically a newspaper of the content. And here at SearchMojo, we've seen that Paperly dailies really do help individuals and brands get more exposure within their industry on Twitter if they're used properly. And there are a couple of different things that we'll review to make sure that if you are considering setting up a Paperly um, account that you get it set up for your maximum benefit. So Paperly is a way to aggregate daily news and blog posts. And if you only have about 15 minutes to spend on Twitter on a daily basis, this service is really great for you. Um, and you can choose not to auto-tweet the Paperly daily. I'm sure you, some of you have seen um, an example of what is on the screen right now. The Search Mojo Daily is out with top stories by Janet B. Miller, Search Mojo, and C.C. Wilson. So those are the auto tweets that you can choose to have the paper send out on a daily basis to let your following know that new content is ready for you to check out and see what the most important or, you know, uh, what the stories are by, by those uh, Twitter account that day. However, like I said, you can choose to not auto-tweet it and just review that content on your own. If you're someone that just wants to kind of take the time to review the aggregated content, but not necessarily send that tweet out to everyone that follows you. Um, we do personally recommend the auto-tweet for your paper um, to share it with your network. Um, we find that it's helpful for others that don't have enough time to check out Twitter as much as they'd like as well. So when they see your daily, that might help other people that follow you to catch up on the daily top stories, especially if they're interested in your niche, um, that kind of thing. So here's what the Search Mojo Daily looks like. And you'll see there are different sections of the paper in this one from yesterday. And as you may have kind of gathered from seeing those tweets, there are various formats of paper leads. So you can create it from a specific Twitter user and their contributors. You can create it from a Twitter hashtag, for example, hashtag SEO, or you can do one based off of a Twitter list. Here at SearchMojo, we use a Twitter list. Um, and if you don't have any existing lists set up, you really should pull together and take some time to pull together a good list of, of Twitter users. So here are some services to help you a little bit. Twibe, Listorious, Twello, and TweetsML.org. Um, those will all help you find Twitter users to tweet about certain topics or industries. Um, 
keep in mind that the dailies are randomly generated. So anything that the users tweet throughout the day could be used in the daily. So it could be an oatmeal comic, or it could be something from search engine land, which is very relevant to your industry. So it just depends what those users have tweeted throughout the day. Um, Paperly does use tweets um, with links in them. So it's not going to just be people's random comments about what they ate for lunch. Um, but if you're concerned about being held responsible for the content in your daily, consider using a list that is uh, maybe your coworkers or your employees. That's what we do here because we all have a social media policy that we sign. So we know at least that we'll be following at least that uh, certain rules and, and uh, things to keep in mind as we're operating our Twitter account. So why should you create a daily? We really do think that it helps you gain exposure in your industry by sharing that relevant content that you and your coworkers are reading and sharing on Twitter already. Um, it might help you get new followers, which can increase your social circle, and gain attention from those you follow but don't follow you through those app mentions of the top stories like you saw in that first tweet there. It can also help to promote your Twitter account as an industry expert and just help to show you as a resource for great information. So now, if you're ready to create a Paperly account, you can log in with your Twitter account that you'd like to set up the daily for. In our case, we use the SearchMojo Twitter account. Um, and as I said earlier, it is looking for tweets with links. And the title of each story of the on the paper will link directly to that content, whether it's a blog post, an article, that kind of thing. Inside the paper, um, there are different sections, just like a regular newspaper, like technology, arts, and entertainment business, for example. And um, not only do the tweets have just the link in there, but if there's media associated with it, it will also pull in the images and the videos. And there's a trending topic box on there, which is, which is pretty cool, too. And some just noteworthy paperly settings. Um, once you've decided if you're going to do a list, a hashtag, or a user, you can um, decide if you want to auto-promote your paperly with a tweet, like I was talking about earlier. You can edit your preferred update time, which is a relatively new thing um, within the paperly service. Um, and you can also decide what frequency you'd like to send out the paperly, whether it's daily, at one certain time, um, either in the morning or evening or weekly. And a new update as of November 18th, I believe, is a view section, which is kind of interesting, um, so that you can keep an eye on how many people are checking out your paper and how many people are also subscribing to your paper. And the last thing there is you can also edit the title of your paper now, which is nice if you had kind of a list name that might be a little lengthy. Now you can shorten it up and save some room in that tweet. And just some extra tips here. Keep in mind that anyone can create a paperly. So if I wanted to create a paperly from a hashtag that I've maybe only watched the chat or watched tweets about, but I don't necessarily own that hashtag or, or Twitter chat, I could create it if I wanted to. And I actually saw this happen on Twitter this week. Um, but so just keep in mind that that can happen and to not necessarily be offended if someone steals your hashtag. Um, they're just basically sharing the content that would be shared on Twitter publicly anyway. Um, and keep in mind you can also select the, the users but not the tweets if you're using a list. And you can create, you can um, choose the topic but not the selected tweets. So, they're all tweets that will include the SEO hashtag, for example, but you don't know which ones are going to go in there. And some final things about growing your network. Um, as we mentioned, there are the top story um, tweets in that auto tweet. So that basically just helps put you on someone else's radar that you may have never talked to on Twitter before. Um, they could also retweet that themselves or thank you and get some interaction going back and forth on Twitter. 
And keep in mind that growing your network is preferable um, in SEO as well for your social circle and your social graph. And below is actually an example of the social circle results that you might be seeing on Google when you do certain searches and you're logged in to your, to your account. And this is another um, story that came out yesterday, what social signals do Google and Bing really count? And something to point out about retweets is that Danny Sullivan from Search Engine Land said, retweets serve as a new form of link building. Get your page mentioned in tweets by authoritative people, and that can help your ranking and regular search results to a degree. So this is starting to be more accepted and um, gradually proven as we go along. And for the future of Paperly, it seems to be a thriving um, business here. Guy Kawasaki just joined the advisory board, so keep an eye out for the things in the future. Thank you very much, Renee. Great information about Paperly. Always a good time to start and get those followers up. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us for today's presentation. We will be sending out a copy of today's slides, and we'll be posting this recording to our YouTube channel, which may also be found on our resources section of the search-mojo.com site. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we look forward to having you on future webinars.